I'm Bella from Lux and Lux Hairstyles, and today we're going to show you our elegant Dutch twist up updo. So I have gone ahead and done two of the rope twists. Now at the top there are a bohemian braid, bohemian twist, that I have then converted down into the Dutch twist. We have a tutorial on both the bohemian twist and the Dutch twist if you need to look those up. Now this side I've left undone so I'm going to do one over here before we pull it up. So I will start and do a bohemian twist. I have the rest of her hair pulled over that I don't want in this and I just have her hold it. Can you tip your head up? And when I'm on the side, I always wrap up. You could bohemian twist down, but I think it looks nicer on the sides of her hair to go up. Now when I've gotten to the end of where I want to do the, the bohemian twist, I want to convert this to a rope twist, rope braid, Dutch twist. So I'm going to go both of the strands the same direction. This time I'm going left, do this one left too, and I cross them over each other to the right. So I put her hair, I did these three strands, and then threw them out of the way to do the ponytail. Now we're going to take these sides and I'm going to do a figure eight on her head. Right here. And bobby pin that into place. Now I pinned it in a figure eight. I just did one bobby pin here and one here that I kind of hid under this bohemian twist so it wouldn't show. Then I have this end and I'm just going to throw it over the ponytail and I'll hide it in a minute. So now I'm going to do the figure eight on this side. Okay, I must not have braided this one down as far, so I'm going to take that end and go behind it so I can hide it a little bit better. I'll bobby pin that in. Now I have these two ends that are left over from the, the two figure eights that I made. Oh, this bobby pin is showing a little bit. I'm going to fix it because I'm a nut about not having bobby pins show. I don't know if that's much better. Okay, so I'm going to take these two ends and put them here. And then take this center one that I did and use it to wrap. I will mix those two ends in the bottom of the ponytail. They're short. And I'll use the center twist that I did to cover her elastic. Probably go around as many times as I have length on her twist. Then I'll bobby pin that under her ponytail. Okay, so now you have a figure, you have the bohemian twist on top, you've got the figure eights on either side. I'm going to tack this one over because it's blocking my figure eight. And then you have the, the rubber band or the elastic covered with the twist. And we're going to section her hair into three. And I will braid each one of these into a Dutch twist. So separate the hair. I have the two little pieces that were left over from the sides. I'm going to blend them in. So I have to send it to the left, and then twist them back over each other to the right. Did it kind of tied up here to make sure that I didn't lose the ends of those little leftovers. I've done these two, now I'll do my last one. These ones in here are just a little bit tricky again because of the short pieces that we have left over. We have our three Dutch twists hanging down and I'm going to let them hang separately but down at the bottom I'll just kind of braid them together.
just to hold them and then I'll put them in an elastic. This is probably one of my favorite hairstyles because it's really cute and really elegant and it has a beautiful look to it. So make sure to check out our other videos and keep watching.